Hello there, I'm a big fan of a fresh faced skin like finish after five years on YouTube. Many of you are scarily familiar with my style, but I've never shared a complete no makeup makeup look before. This is my need to look and feel good in a hurry, but don't have the time or the skills to do something that complicated. Just want a bit of a boost makeup bag products to enhance your features and make you feel confident with them, not less without them. Importantly, I think the best makeup look is one that makes you feel your best whether that's full glam, amazing artistry, or something really simple. You should wear what you feel comfortable with, not what you feel like you should be wearing. So I don't think glam and no makeup makeup should be pitted against each other or one seen as more valid or of more value than the other. It's about what you feel good in. I have viewers at either end of that range, even people watching who don't wear makeup at all, there's space for everyone. These are some of my favorites in the beautifully barely there corner of the industry, like a slight skin and confidence boost. Bearing in mind that if you like a lot of coverage or punchy colour payoff, sadly not going to be the list for you. Let's get into it. A pillar of the no makeup makeup idea is a fresh complexion. That doesn't mean you need perfect skin, not at all, high coverage concealer coming. If you like seeing your skin just a slightly improved version of it, Trini London's BFF cream is one of my favorites. It comes in five shades that transform from this grayish color to a very sheer tint as you rub it in. Less about adding tint, more about glow. It could almost count as a glowy base product really. Another old your skin but better favorite for me is Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. Pigment micro droplets in this formula burst when you apply it, very sheer and subtle. It's water-based, so it feels light. It's meant to be undetectable, but it just creates a healthy, hydrated look. It comes in eight shades, but there's now a slightly higher coverage sister, the Water Fresh Complexion Touch, in 16 shades. Testing that when it finally arrives in Australia, so let me know if you've already tried it. A brightening concealer is key for the under eye area if you're trying to keep your makeup minimal. Something too heavy or cakey there can quickly make the rest of my makeup seem heavier, so I like a fluid formula. I feel bad always talking about my beloved Chanel Eclat Lumiere, discontinued in some regions, so YSL Touche Eclat is very similar. This famous all over brightening concealer pen is a glow booster you can use elsewhere on your skin, but it's great to improve the look of dark circles and lack of sleep. A celebrity makeup bag favorite that's lightweight and easy to blend. Then spot concealing, bringing out the big guns. Clay de Peau concealer is highly regarded in the industry. I'd read about it on Into the Gloss for years before finally trying it in 2016, and it's been in my makeup bag ever since. Expensive, but lasts for years, truly. High coverage, but very creamy, so if you pat or tap it into the skin, it looks seamless but covers spots and redness so effectively. Highly recommend Lisa Eldridge's tutorials on pinpoint concealing. That approach of only covering exactly where you need it can help to maintain a no makeup makeup look overall. A clear brow gel does the trick in a fresh faced routine. A formula I go back to is Italian brand Espresso's Hey Bro. This water based clear gel is more watery than any other gel I've tried, but it sets in a couple of minutes and has great hold. Hardens a tiny bit, but in a good way. It lifts and separates brow hairs without being stuck. Espresso discount code below. A cream or liquid blush that looks like it's part of your skin, not sitting on top, is always an excellent no makeup makeup choice. See my Cream Blush Chronicles series for many more options, but this time I went with an Ilia Multi Stick. Loved them for years, they were in my lip to cheek and dewy blush episodes. Great glowy finish, quite sheer but can be layered easy to swipe or stroke on. If it's too dewy for you, just keep lightly patting to tone down the sheen. Natural Warm Rosy Brown Dreamer has been on repeat lately, a little on your lips and eyes too, and you're done. Often a dewy blush is enough to give my cheeks a glow, but if you're looking for a natural highlighter, the Chanel Balm Essentiel Multi-Use Glow Stick in Sculpting is stunning. A luminous pearlescent champagne without any glitter or shimmer, just that pearly balmy finish. It comes in several shades, including a transparent balm if you want an even more subtle sheen. I'll often stop there and skip bronzer, just a bonus step if I feel like it. I was recently asked to name the best bronzer and best cream bronzer for Marie Claire, and my answer was the same for both. 
this one. Undone Beauty's water bronzer has started to get more recognition through TikTok. If you find bronzers too orange, you're a bronzer beginner or general minimal makeup lover, this is incredibly user-friendly. Deceptively dark in the tube, but so sheer and water light, it's impossible to apply too much. Contour is a bonus bonus step, something I very rarely reach for, but one of the most subtle formulas I've found is Westman Atelier's Face Trace Contour Stick, a cream that mimics natural shadows and disappears into the skin. Only comes in three shades, contour is often a category that's really lacking, but Oma Beauty and Danessa Myricks lead the way with inclusive stick and balm contour shades. The No Makeup Makeup Shadow Search, something a few shades deeper than your natural eyelid colour, just adding some depth to that area. One of my go-tos is Armani Eye Tint in 23 Camel Smoke, but I'm so miffed that this barely there light tan brown has been discontinued. I'll be looking for a shade replacement in future, please share if you find one. Still a lovely formula, thin texture, starts out very subtle, easy to blend and build. One of my personal favourites that's incredibly flattering on everyone I've ever seen it on is Rare Beauty's Stay Vulnerable Liquid Shadow in Nearly Neutral. The best liquid shadow formula I've tried for a start. Creamy, pigmented, but not too much. Blends evenly, doesn't crease, doesn't dry too quickly. And this is a beautiful warmish neutral beige. A one and done powder might be all you need to add some interest. This Dior Mono Couleur Couture shade Rosewood Matte is a beauty. One of my Instagram followers mentioned this to me, thank you. A soft rosy brown that almost sculpts and shapes my eyelid really subtly, but enough to make my eyes look brighter. I love lots of volume when it comes to mascara, but if I was to turn down the volume, the most subtle formula I've seen is 1999 Beauty's Lash Tint Mascara. This lightweight tubing formula with a dainty slim wand is giving no mascara mascara. More like mimicking fluttery, freshly tinted lashes, and it's great as a bottom lash mascara too. I'll leave my 1999 code below. I'm usually in two minds when it comes to a My Lips But Better shade, either a tinted balm or sheer lipstick in a browny berry a little bit deeper than my natural lip colour shade or a softer rose a little bit pinker shade. Fresh sugar tinted lip treatments instantly come to mind, a luxurious tinted balm in a lovely shade range, smooth, soft, a little filmy so they sort of coat your lips and have a citrusy scent. Plum was one of my original favourites that disappeared, but now it's back, thank goodness. A great deep current black honey kind of booster. Lots of other tinted lip balm videos below to help you find your kind of shade. Sheer lipstick, Bobbi Brown crushed lip colour yet again. Sorry to keep repeating them, but I'm obsessed. I've had one in my bag since 2017. A comfortable soft matte with sheer but buildable colour, very low maintenance, waxy citrusy scent doesn't bother me. Italian Rose is a warm brownie rose that's an ideal everyday shade, like a soft flush of colour. A lot of the usual suspects, no groundbreaking suggestions there, but they really are some of my favourites for a simple, your skin but better, product pick me up in a no makeup makeup sort of zone. Let me know if you spotted any favourites here or formulas that caught your eye, whether you like wearing natural makeup all the time, just on good skin days, or if you're drawn to bolder, stronger choices. If you do count yourself in this sort of basket of beauty lovers, please leave your personal fresh faced routine in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you next time.